you for joining another video. If you don't know me, my name is Christy and I just do the usual nonsense here on this channel. So I decided today to do a thrift haul. Um, I bought quite a few things and I wanted to show you and I haven't tried them on yet besides two things but I really wanted to show you what I got. Sorry about the camera settings, it's being filmed on a different camera right now so it might look kind of weird but I was like let me film something it's been a while so hopefully you enjoy this hopefully this potato that I'm filming on makes this video into a french fry or something so first things first I really wanted to get a new coat because my my other one's really old I've had it for so long now and I was like I need a new one so I got this big poofy like waterproof coat um i don't know like what the brand is either arms inside out <laughs> but well so it's this is alaska and i was like i vibe with this so much and it has loads of pockets it also had a hood that i've removed and i was like yes so this jacket cost me five pound and when i was trying it on i was like whoa the logo's on the inside and there's pockets on the inside and lo and behold this is reversible which is right up my street two styles if it's raining when i go out and it's and it's not when i come back or vice versa i kind of prefer it this way like a fleecy fluffy pink jacket that i definitely dig so much let me show you what it looks like it's massively too big for me but do I care about that? No, I do not. So let me show you. So if you excuse my choice of like out underneath outfits there, this is how it looks. Like this, it would look so cool with some like jeans and my Hello Kitty Converse. I know it's not to everyone's taste, but I, I'm, this is it. So pockets, of course, with zips. And then I'll show you what it looks like reversible so here we go this what it this is what it looks like the opposite way around yeah it does make me look really fat like eight but it's just so warm and so comfy and like i said with some like jeans or something like you know i'm feeling like my inner gangster with these outfits i think what i picked today so let me know what you think it's just perfect like going to and from work you know mate date to the cinema or something i don't know i just like it a lot and you can see the design there it says alaska which is super cool so we're here for this yes we are and when i say we i mean all the voices in my head thing i found was in the same shop same day and it was also five pound i the day before i went to a shop called tk max tj max tk max and found a jacket identical to this and i was like yeah but it's like 50 pounds and you know what i nearly did and then i was like no don't do it but i found this beautiful teddy bear coat it's like um charcoal gray with like nice is it turtle shell tortoise shell design buttons massively huge pockets like oh my god i could fit all my hopes and dreams in these pockets honestly um it's in perfect condition there's no marks no holes no nonsense so let me show you what it looks like so once again i bought a jacket that is approximately 12 sizes too big but i am just here for this i love it it's just <sighs> the buttons don't really work because like they pop open because it's so big but like when i'm walking down the street and it's really cold and i can just wrap up or you know i just dig it like so much but someone did say that I look like Biggie Small, so that's also very cool. Like I was saying, gangster fantasy, or you know, whatever, but. And it's like a bit long, like the with this outfit looks very weird, but I dig it a lot. And like, it's a perfect jacket for this kind of weather when it's freezing. And you know, you just want to like, pretend that it's your boyfriend hugging you or something. So... That's that one. Let's move on to the next item. But 
The next thing I bought is very much like a jokey item, but I just couldn't leave it. If you know me, you'll know I love this. I bought this in the men's section. I always recommend to have a look in the men's section. I always have like fun t-shirts and cool designs. On my Instagram I posted um, a Spongebob t-shirt. I love Spongebob. I bought a Spongebob t-shirt in the men's section that's like oversized. It just has Spongebob and Patrick. I live. But that's in the wash. So I have... The shape of it's really weird and it's size small so I'm like not hoping that it's going to fit. I, no, I'm not hopeful that it's going to fit. Um, I don't know if it is actually men's or you know what. It's from a, a brand called Only. And it was £1.50. I was like, you know what, treat yourself. This is me in a t-shirt. This is literally me. I'm like 104% tired. That is literally, I say that, I say that like... Oh my god, people at work are like, you always you always say things in percentages, it's like, I know, I know, and I'm always tired, OMG, I'm going to wear this so much, if you see me wearing this, mind your business, <laughs> I love this, um, I might just quickly try it on over this top and see what it looks like. So as I expected, the shape of this is gross and I am not vibing with that. But it's just hello and obviously the shape is kind of strange because it's like really short that I will obviously like tuck into a skirt or something. Not this skirt but like this area is kind of too much but that's just life, do you know what I mean? I'm just going to wear this for like for fun because it's me. You feel what I mean? It is what it is. I went to that shop. I went into a shop called British Heart Foundation which I know it's a charity and yes I support that but this shop is literally the most expensive thrift store ever like it's so expensive so I usually avoid it at all costs simply because like I could get the same item for the same price in the real shop so I went in there anyways and they had some sort of like weird sale rail and everything was a pound and y'all know me I love a bargain and I was just like I'm having that, I'm having that. I just didn't even care. I didn't even try it on because I was like a pound. Some of the things are very strange, very unusual. Do not fear. Well, I'm scared actually to see what they look like. Um, but I'll just show you. And then we'll try them on. So the first thing I got, it's pyjamas. But it's from a brand called Cyber Jam Jammies in the shop. It was originally £4.50 but they reduced it to a pound. So I was like, heck yeah. I'm gonna try and like style this somehow, maybe like not wear it as pajamas. I might not even try this one on. But the design is so cute, it's like bird houses. Like can we can we see that? Look how freaking cute and it's so soft. Like when I wash this and everything, it's just gonna be so nice. Like to be fair, I probably will wear it as PJs. I will wear everything as PJs. But I don't know, I couldn't leave it behind. I don't know why, I, I, I don't know why. But I'm not gonna try that one on, so. Let us move swiftly on to the next item. Um, Some of these are weird, I did say that. This is from Dorothy Perkins, it's probably not gonna fit because it's a size 10, but it was a pound. It's this beautiful black lacy Morticia Adams dress, and it has these like semi sleeves I don't know why but I, I'm like weirdly attracted to black dresses and I don't know why but we're going to try her on and see if it fits nicely. The top half I'm not sure but we'll see. So this is just a basic black dress, perfect for you know a funeral or like <laughs> when I'm deceased but I actually like love this especially because it's only a pound. It fits perfect and it's like loose and it's cute um, and I am buzzing to wear this for all occasions. The top's kind of like, it has like a dress underneath but I dig it, I really dig it. So I'm feeling my Morticia Adam fantasy and here it is. So this one I wasn't too sure about if I was going to buy it but then it was a pound and I was like you know what just well actually two things I was like should I shouldn't I and then I was like yes because it's a pound you can 
thrift flip it or you can just like feel bad about it afterwards this was from this is from zara which is kind of expensive in england um i'm not sure how she works not sure how this whole vibe works but we're gonna try it anyways it's this like really thick cream coloured white cream and although you can't really see it it's sort of like a crossover top and the sleeves are like wide so I'm gonna try and figure it out and then I'll show you what it looks like on my body I'm not entirely sure about this one honestly honestly I wanted it to look so nice and maybe I haven't tied it up properly it just kind of looks a bit weird and maybe it's just me thinking that it looks strange and I haven't styled it properly but like I don't know and it's very um boobalicious so that will be censored out and unless I'm meant to wear a top underneath and wear it like loose but I feel like it should be like tight so kind of like that but it just looks a bit wrong on me and it's very um revealing so let's move on to the next piece of shit so the last no the second to last thing i got um was another coat and it, this is from new look it's really thin but it's kind of like a long rain mark it's super long i know you won't be able to see it whatsoever at all but i'm gonna just show you it was a pound like come on you guys a one pound let me show you okay so weird angle and i my bottom half isn't so like it's kind of there so um i wanted to zip it up to show you i live for this so much i wanted a long coat like this for ages it looks kind of weird zipped up but I mean I can like wear it unzipped but you can also like it has these sort of like drawstrings um so you can like tie it up inside which I am down for so let's just try that really quick <sighs> and then let's just zip her back up what does it look like like that oh that looks weird I think I think that looks kind of strange but I ain't mad like it's so long and it's so beautiful it's really thin so summer light summer jacket but yes girl I am here for this all day long I'm here for this forever I will love this jacket forever it goes down to past my knees like obviously you can't see but I am so effing happy with that this like oh my god yes 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 a million times yes so straight up i'm gonna tell you that the final item is very strange and unusual but i was like i really want to style this somehow my sister said it looks weird it is weird maybe i am just weird and it's probably not gonna fit how i want it to and will i ever wear it but basically it is like ugh. this was also a pound obviously it started off at 10 pounds like bitch i'm paying 10 pound it's from a brand called next which oh no it's from m&s actually which is like really expensive in england it's super like shiny feel it's a trench coat but it literally goes down to hell like it's so long but in my mind, obviously I could wear it as like, you know, the usual, but I was like, maybe I could just wear it like a dress with nothing on underneath. Would that be a bit bougie, a bit weird? Has it even got a zip? Um, no, of course it hasn't. Cool. Let's just try it on because it might be very weird looking, but do we care? No. This was also a pound. This jacket actually like goes pretty much almost down to my ankles. I kind of vibe with it, it feels horrible and it, and it's too noisy but like I don't know why but I was weirdly obsessed with this, have I, have I got it right, I mean it's super thin and it's a raincoat so I don't know when you'd be able to wear it 
like because it'd be too like cold to wear it right now but I'm not mad at it sort of but then I was like thinking let's just hope I have any sh shred of dignity left after this so I don't know it was like a cute top underneath for like a like an outfit even as the whole like look do you know what I mean it hasn't got a button at the bottom so it's like you know your bits and bobs will be out but I don't know I'm weirdly obsessed with it and I'm it, I know it's a granny jacket like we all know that but I ain't mad at this it hasn't got a hood or anything so but I'm just digging it like so much right now I'm I'm okay I'm happy happy with what I purchased today so that concludes everything that I bought today on my thrift haul. Thank you for joining my TED talk. I'm sorry if the quality is really bad and sorry I haven't posted a proper video in so long. Uh, times are hard man, like I've been searching for a cheap camera and my laptop is a potato so it's really hard to um, film and upload onto my laptop to have decent like editing skills so I'm working with the straps that I'm given right now. And it sucks and I'm really sorry that I haven't been uploading. I know you guys want me to upload more and I promise that I will as soon as I have the means to do so. But right now, you've got to deal with my potato looking ass, like, wasting all my money at the thrift store. It really do be like that in my mind. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like the smash button, a oh, lol. And... Maybe stay tuned for more live streams, more videos. Who knows what's going to happen? I don't know. That's why you have to be subscribed because you never know what's going to happen. So thank you. Let me know what you thought of these weird outfits. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye.